Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video. This haircut came out super dope. Please stay tuned and uh, check it out until the end so you can see the final result. But this haircut is a low skin fade with a side part. Now, I love doing low skin fades. That's my favorite thing to do. It's the funnest thing for some reason. I love it. I enjoy it. So here we go. First off, obviously you want to section the hair. Um, not every single client is going to need to be sectioned, but in this case, I sectioned in a horseshoe shape just uh, because the top was very long and I didn't want it to get in the way. So then I do my number two guard on the sides. Love doing my number two guard on the sides. It's just it's my bread and butter. My number two guard is probably the guard that I use the most. Here, I'm just using it and going straight up in the air not following the head shape doing this you are creating a foundation it becomes a lot easier to fade from skin to number two once i do number number two all around i get my triple zeros my magic clippers and close my guard they are zero gapped on the sideburns i go up at literally at the ears height and I go maybe a finger so that's probably half an inch once I make sure that everything is almost even you don't have to make everything perfectly even you're gonna fade it out and it's all going to go away anyway so once everything is even with the triple zeros I go up with my slimline pros and just clean up the neck and sides just to create another layer of transition we are off to the races now we are creating guidelines and removing them so here I have my blade open which is uh, equivalent to a 0.5 and so I create my guideline I'm moving up about a l an inch, maybe a little less than an inch, and then I close the guard halfway and I remove the guy line. When I remove the guy line on that first initial line, I am pretty much scooping out, otherwise you kind of make another line. Once I finish the one side, I go to the other side and I create the guy line and remove it. My next step is always my number one guard with the blade open. Now, a number one guard with the blade open is equivalent to a one and a half. However, it is a little bit shorter than the actual one and a half guard. So, using my number one and a half with the blade open, I am scooping out. I don't even have to go over with the one and a half. This is perfect enough, but you want to make everything as perfect as you can. So, blade open, I create a second guy line, and then I close my blade halfway and I go up about half a quarter inch and then I close my blade all the way and I remove the guy line so open blade number one guard create second guy line and then go back to remove it by closing it gradually you can just close it all the way but you know making it perfect as I said here the number one and a half guard is like a buffer um, I play around with a little bit with the lever, I open it, I close, I halfway open, halfway close, it's just, now it's just freehanding. Great, so now we are doing, uh, we're just blending the sides to the transition here. Like I said before, I like to break it down into three different areas, the sides and back the transition here and the top hair. So what I'm doing here is scissor over comb, blending the side hair to the transition hair. Going straight up with the comb at about a 90 degree angle. I'm just smoothing out that heavy line that you create after you use the number two guard. So as you see here, going up, smoothing out that line. There's really no trick about this. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you have to trial and error. Just, just have to learn over uh, over time um, by practice. 
The fade is looking great. Honestly, this fade is looks so fucking dope. It's, it's, I love it. I took the number two guard just one more time. I left the blade open and I just went over the sides and the transition here just one more time just to make sure everything was nice. And uh, as you can see there, the sides and the transition here is perfectly blended. Now it's time to blend the top hair to the transition hair. For some reason in this haircut, I started out from the back. What I'm doing is scissor over fingers. I am keeping my fingers at about an 80 degree angle, 80, like 75 degree angle. I'm not completely straight up. Uh, you wanna follow the head shape slightly just so that it creates a even um, layered blend. I begin from the back of the hair at the occipital bone and I make my way over to both sides. As you see there, um, my transition hair becomes my initial guideline to blend everything on the top. That's why I break it down into three different areas because one becomes the guideline for the next here I start to angle my fingers a little bit more than just 85, 80 degrees. So here I'm probably angling at maybe like 75 to 70 degree. And then as you work your way towards the crown of the head, you start angling more and more and more until you're, it's a flat and everything is nice and even. I leave the banks last and so here in this case as you saw, that was the last thing that I blended now I'm just uh, using my thinning shears and I am smoothing out the transition here with uh, from in the sides if you guys have been following my videos this is my favorite texturizing technique gliding the blades along the hairlines taking chunks and uh, it creates awesome awesome movement Once I'm doing that, I'm just cross-checking. I'm going over point cutting just to, you know, create a little bit more texture on the hair tips. Cross-checking, see if everything is even. If it's if it's not, then I'll point cut. I mean, this haircut honestly is dope. I'm I'm super super uh, proud of this haircut. I didn't even know this haircut was so good until I watched the video. It was one of those days where it was just busy, busy. So. Now we're going to trim the beard. The client didn't want anything fancy. All he wanted was to shape the beard around and do a number two all around. I like to create the lines before I trim it. Just going over it with number two guard. Now just popping in the hot towel to get the client's face to sweat a little bit, get some natural oils to rise from the skin and I use that to cut the hair. I don't use any shaving gels. I did not do a straight razor on the neck. Client didn't want it. That's pretty much it guys. This is the haircut. This is one of the best haircuts I think that I've done along with uh, some other ones but this is up there. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.